Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my Sorcerer's Garden mini game tutorial for the Autumn Region. Now, before we start this tutorial, if you guys find this tutorial helpful at all, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some of the other content that I make. I do make other content, and I really hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment down below. To start off, before you can gain entrance to the Autumn Region, you will need level 45 Thieving. And if you are doing this for Thieving Experience, you will need to obtain a Pestle Mortar and a Beer Glass. Now, the Beer Glass is obtainable here at the Sorcerer's Garden location. If you are doing this for Herbs, then you will not need either the Pestle Mortar or the Beer Glass. On screen now is the starting location for the minigame right next to the Shanty Pass in Al Karid. Once you've made your way over here to the minigame location, to simply get a beer glass, all you have to do is search the shelves here on the wall, and it'll give you a beer glass. And then you have to talk to the apprentice if you have not been here before, and you will have to go through some dialogue. She basically wants to train her magic on you, um, and she'll eventually teleport you here to the Sorcerer's Garden. And once you get here on to the Sorcerer's Garden, there are four regions. Now the Autumn Region is located here on screen now. So here is a quick route to show you each step that you will be taking if you want to reference this at any point in time during this video. So once you make it to the end, you will be picking a Squirk Fruit from the tree and you will need three Squirk Fruits to make a Squirk Juice. If you choose to drink the juice, you get a plus two thieving boost as well as recover 15% of your run energy, which is a great alternative to a energy potion if you are an Iron Man and do not have access to those at the time. And if you turn in the juice to Osman, which I will be showing you where he is located later on, he gives you 2,350 experience per juice. So if you're doing this method to gather the herbs, these are the following herbs that you can gather throughout the autumn region, and these are the drop rates in which you can expect to gather each one of those herbs while doing so. So for the basic method for all you beginners, you first want to wait until the elemental has its back turned towards you, and then you first click on this square right here, and this is the first step of the maze. Now you wait here until the elemental passes by you again and has its back turned towards you once again, and then you want to click on this tile right here for your second step. Alright, this is where it starts to get tricky. For the second step, you are going to wait until the elemental again has its back to turn towards you. And it is standing in this square right here. As shown right now, you want to move to this tile right here when it is at that position. When in this position, you have to keep an eye on both the elementals, this elemental and this one at the same time. And when they both have their backs turned towards you as they do now, you want to quickly move to this tile here and then stand by for the third step of the maze. For this step, you have to pay attention to this elemental as well as this elemental up here. And again, you have to wait until they both have their backs turned towards you. And I'll show you here in a second when that happens. As you can see, the first elemental has its back turned towards me. So I move to this position here as the second elemental cannot see me in this position and then I wait for it to have its back turned towards me and then I move to this position right here. Now you simply wait for the elemental to have its back turned towards you at that tile right there and then once it is in that position you quickly run to the squirk tree to gather your squirk fruit and then you will be teleported out of the maze back to the entrance where you restart the process. Now this run is the more advanced method. This method is used for people who are looking for faster experience per hour. Now as you can see you want to wait until the elemental is in this position right here in the second tile and then you want to quickly walk behind it to make sure your run is turned off and as you can see I am directly behind the elemental. And this way you can skip the first step in the previous run and when the elemental turns around it does not see you as you simply walk underneath it and then you can completely skip the first step of the last run. Now the rest of these steps are pretty similar to the first run. You just want to be as quick as possible with the method which you will get better at it as you practice doing these runs. The unfortunate part about this is that the elementals are going to be in different positions every time you do one of these runs. So every run is not going to be the exact same time. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you have to wait a little bit longer for the elemental to make its roundabout so you can actually uh, make your move to the next step. Uh, so 
just a little bit of practice and time. The only real difference between this step and the last one is uh, showing you how to walk behind the elemental, as I just did there, right there. Um, that saves some run injury as well. I have included a few more runs of me doing this just so you can get a glimpse of how I do this uh, every time and just so you can get a variation of each run uh, with the elementals being in different positions as well as the average time that it will take per run. To obtain the herbs instead of the fruit, you are going to use the exact same steps as mentioned before, except you are going to go in this direction rather than towards the tree, and every time you gather from this patch, you get two herbs randomly. To obtain your thieving experience, you want to make your way over to Osman located here. Once you are here, you want to use your squirk fruit on the pestle and mortar to make your juice if you have not already, and then speak to Osman who will give you your thieving experience in return for the juice. That is going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial and it did help you out, please, please, please like the video and leave a comment down below as what type of guide you would like to see in the future. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get future guides and other content that I do make. Uh, just be sure to check out my channel, guys. It would help out a lot, and I appreciate you guys watching. Till next time, see you later.